All right, so we've been stuck in Annapolis for quite some time now. And it's funny, when you get to a new area, you don't know where anything is. You never know where to keep your dinghy. You never know where to anchor, if there's allowed anchoring near the moorings or if they don't allow anchoring. We've had a lot of time to figure out where everything is and all the good places are. So we thought we'd share what we learned about cruising in Annapolis. <laughs> We're just gonna go fuel up right now so we don't run out of gas. <laughs> this is one of the two fuel docks here. This is Annapolis Harbor Marina, I believe. Annapolis City Marina. Annapolis City Marina. And I don't know what the other one's called, but we'll go buy it. It's right over there. I, I kind of like this one better for filling up on the dinghy though. Less exposed. This is Ego Alley, and this is the city dock. This is the landing over here for the dinghies. I believe there is over 22 dinghy docks here in Annapolis and Eastport, and the dinghy docks are on every street that meets the water. Some dinghy docks are better than others. Some have a floating dock. Others have pilings with a ladder, and then there's even some docks that are a little unattended, broken cleats, and less ideal. Places. All right, so there are a bunch of dinghy docks here. Lots of good eating spots. We've tried a few, and one of our favorites is the Iron Rooster. Yeah, so we're thinking about going there right now. So this place is known for its breakfast. But they also have a waffle burger and a Santa Fe veggie burger. So, Ooh, it's yeah. Kind of best of both what are you gonna go for? I think I'm gonna get breakfast. It's still early, so I'm gonna get the kitchen garden omelet. I think I'm gonna get the angry pig no, no, omelet. No. Give me a thumbs up. Yeah, thank you. All right, see you later. Shout out to Tony. He's always the nicest host we've met so far. He's awesome. Always gives us a good spot in the Iron Rooster. Probably the best spot we've known around here to get good Wi-Fi and a place to get something, some work done is the Starbucks here. Wouldn't you say? Definitely. That's important for cruising. The internet location. Always good having a nice spot to do some work. Pretty much the best spot. It's got outlets, good Wi-Fi, video uploaded in less than 15 minutes, and that's pretty much all you can really ask for. Well, there's comfy couches also. These are the postcards going out to some of our patrons. I'd say this Market Street area is definitely the place to do your touristy actions and walking around. There's just plenty of stores and Definitely plenty of places to eat as well. Lots of like cute t-shirt shops and trinkets, that sort of thing. Also your local beer and wine store. That's also why we like anchoring in the uh, Spa Creek area. It's right in between this Annapolis downtown. It's also right in between the Eastport area. So I'm saying Spa Creek is the best place to anchor because it's the most centralized creek in Annapolis. You have the Severn River, which you can anchor anywhere really, other than cable zones and restricted areas from the Navy. Then you have Back Creek, Spa Creek, and Weems Creek, which are also places you can anchor here. There's moorings everywhere if you wanted to pick one up, if there's not any spots in, in the um, anchorage itself it can get pretty tight here. There are some spots that you can't anchor. So you can't anchor anywhere between this zone. This is the first mooring field. 
I believe it's 35 a night. This is the second mooring field right over here, right next to Spa Creek Bridge. And I believe it's a little cheaper, 30 a night. There's also some moorings over here, right where we're anchored. And they also have this Lake Ogleton, which is further south, a little bit away from the city. So you can see why we like to anchor here in Spa Creek, because you have Annapolis right here, which is this peninsula right in the middle. I believe this is West Annapolis, and then this is Eastport right here. You can really get anywhere by dinghy in this area. So other than just eating, walking, and shopping, I'd say another good activity to do here is take a tour of the Naval Academy. Everyone we've talked to has, has told us to do a tour. We still haven't done one yet, but maybe one of these days coming up. Lola's protesting to come up the stairs because she hates to take the shower, and she's done two or three within the last day or so because she fell into Ego Alley dinghy dock. <laughs> All right. This is the Harbor Master's office here, and if you go in, they'll give you some tokens to open the showers and laundry room, and you have full access to everything. It's pretty nice in there, nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. Free daytime tie-up over on Ego Alley for bigger City. boats at City Dock, and there's also a free dinghy dock at the end of Ego Alley. If you, ever, if you go to Pusser's, you're going to have to pay seven bucks to dock your dinghy so you might as well go down. The water taxi also picks you up down here and it's $3, $4, and $5 a person depending on where your boat is. Oh. Oh, we're not doing that again. This is exactly where Lola fell in these last two days. Twice now. <laughs> last night and this morning. But yeah, this is all like pollen. It's that time of the year, so it's all filtering down. So she did like a belly flop right onto there. Definitely intentional. It was more of a jump. The it second was. time. We're back for a quick break on the boat and we're gonna go for a little bit of a tour up Spa Creek in a little bit. And then we're gonna go to one of our favorite spots to eat, and it's an Eastport. So we'll also show you some of Eastport, which is across the way from Annapolis. Kind of a cool feel. just tied up our dinghy right here on 3rd Street. We've never tied up here before, but it's actually right close by to our favorite place. It's called Boatyard Grill. This was the first episode of our new series on the channel we're calling The Best of Cruising. We're super excited about it. We're gonna be taking you guys around to all the different locations we check out and show you the best restaurants, the best dinghy docks, the best anchorages, whatever it is they have there. You'll see it on the Best of Cruising. Let us know any suggestions of where you would like the next Best of Cruising video to take place. It can be anywhere on the East Coast. We'll be heading back up north towards Boston and then we'll be heading back down south. So really just let us know any and we'll think about doing it there. We're Heading out of Annapolis now, and we're gonna be heading back home very shortly. So that's what you'll see coming up. Lots of sailing, lots of traveling. We're excited to get back to it. Mm -hmm.